Oppan Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. Take it anymore. Oh, we're not gonna take it. No, we ain't gonna take it. We're not gonna take it anymore. Hey! Oi! We've got the right to choose it. There ain't no way we'll lose it This is our life, this is our soul Hey! We got the right to fight The powers that be just don't pick our destiny Cause you don't know us and you don't belong Hey! Not gonna take it No! We ain't gonna take it we're not gonna take it anymore Oh, you're so condescending Your goal is never ending We don't want nothing, not a thing from you Your life is trite and jaded Boring and confiscated if that's your best, your best just won't do. Not won't do, laddie. 
The stock was bought and we did hold Gorilla Gang's heart was bold Diamonds ain't the same as greed We'll tell you when the markets bleed Hold diamond hands, hold We'll leave the moon when the trades are done We'll take our tindies and we'll have fun Hold my diamond apes, hold Oh, Hedges, why you do what you do with your short thing of AMC stock? Apes no like we want bananas. We want our bananas, man. Oh, hot summer streets and the pavements are burning. I sit around trying to smile, but the air is so heavy and dry. Heavy and dry. Strange voices are saying. Things I can't understand is too close for comfort This heat has got right out of hand It's a cruel, cruel summer Leaving me here on my own It's a cruel, cruel summer Now you're gone Paper hands and sword. The hedges are getting squeezed out. Our price is going up. It's psychological. The city is crowded. My friends are away. And I'm all on my own. It's too hot to handle. So I gotta get up and go, 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 go. Hey! It's a cruel, cruel summer. Living the fear on my own oh, 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 oh. It's a cruel, it's a cruel, cruel summer Now you're gone, you're not the only one You're not the only one It's a cruel, cruel summer Living me here on my own It's a cruel, cruel 
Krusama Oi 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 Diamond hands forever more Apes Apes together strong we will make it through the crew, the crew, crew summer. It's a crew, crew summer. Living here on my own, it's a crew, crew summer. Now that you're gone, you're not the only one. It's a crew, crew summer. Krusama Ocean Kruto For you in the Ukraine You're not the only one It's a Kru Krusama Ocean Kruto baby It's coming back for you It's a Kru Krusama Now that you're gone Ocean Kruto Spinning the eggs Stay cool Not a cat. Understand in the least bit anybody that tells me this is a dead cat because you are just not looking at the big picture. You're not. You are thinking so microscopically right now. The GameStop squeeze, the GameStop situation took a long time to play out, and the squeeze potential is 100% here for this. And if it's not, there's, there's, there's you can see. Not a dead cat, baby. <laughs> Say it, say it, say it, I dare you. Throw us a dead cat. Oh, Kachiga, let's go. What is up? On this given stop, on this given stop, on this given stop, on this given stop, on this given stop. Are trying to steal our attendees. <laughs> that shouldn't have been that, have been that funny, but I think it's good. Say it, say it, say it. Not a dead cat, baby. <laughs> say it, say it. Not a dead cat, baby. <laughs> Support the channel because Gorilla Gang's strong. We like this MF and stock, baby. That is all that I'm asking. 
is being heavily, heavily shorted by, by hedge funds. Say it, I dare you. Throw us the cat. Oh, oh, good chica. This is being heavily, heavily shorted. As long as the stock is shorted, my friend, this is not game over. You play in the fire pit long enough, you're gonna get burned. These guys are gonna get caught with their pants down, piss it in the fire, and they're gonna get hurt. It is gonna suck. For them, for them it's gonna suck. <laughs> for us, we're gonna squeeze the living crap out of these, out of these edgies that are really playing with fire, my friends. I'm telling you. Disgusting. That is insane. Wow. We are looking like we might get a little bit of momentum here. AMC does typically mirror GameStop, so that's what we're gonna be looking for. We look at the level twos. 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 Ten shoulders pattern. Ten shoulder, shoulder, right, and you already know it. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it in the comment section. George W. You got the George W. My name is George W. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. Beautiful. George W. incoming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. You already know it. We got the George W. We got this ascending level of support. This does look like the bottom at 575. Looks promising. So the head chase are trying to steal our Seven hours straight. Right. 
over this weekend. We're going to still have important highlights from this past week, including new information uh, that you guys have not yet seen before. So I hope you guys enjoy being able to learn with Professor Rainbow. So thank him for his services. And if you guys have not yet clicked the links down below, you probably won't have to click three to be in Splatoon and AMC lovers in our hands. after a fat rip all the way up to $10. And now, we have been seeing these bullish patterns for a good amount of time, even yesterday. A little bit of technical analysis here. We saw this a bullish panic here being formed right there, right? This is coming up from an uptrend, uh, descending level of resistance, same level of support, which uh, for all intents purposes should have shot through the roof, but we didn't have trades interview quite yet. This was the catalyst for much of the price action during the after hours and pre-market. Now we have gotten to basically a brand new level of resistance and support thanks to the announcement that the CEO made with the help of Trey getting it out to as many of you guys, the shareholders, as possible. Gorillas in the chat and in the comment section below for Trey for being able to give us that. We also have the ability to look at the options as they also finally see you one day maybe on this screen uh, if you guys press the join button next to the subscribe button we'd appreciate you seeing on the moon platoon we both spend sessions here and the gorilla gear tiers either on youtube membership or on patreon and we'll see you all in the money Thank you for flying with Mo Money. Now please enjoy the sound of silence as Andrew reads your comments silently to himself. stop even though the hedge funds continue to short heavily however they may be running low on ammunition <laughs> all right we're gonna have a fun little um, mental break from the charts for a minute <laughs> so flag 10 is right CEO. I'm sorry, Dracula. Don't, don't come after me in my nightmares. But <laughs> Mr. CEO of Robin Hood, here. <laughs> if you change two letters in his name, the N to a P and the P to an S. Then Taylor, Dracula. This is the legend of Dracula. It's literally just two letters. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Uh, and tell me they don't look similar to you. Right? <laughs> so, the CEO of <laughs> Yikes. We're really on a boat. It's not just any boat. You know what kind of boat this is? 
This is a pirate ship. 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 Definitely den Definitely den Definitely den Basically pirates, guys, <laughs> riding on this choppy ocean, which is the stock market. Welcome to trading. <laughs> it's not a rocket ship going straight up. It's a uh, rough seas, up and down. Sometimes the wave splashes over the ship. It might knock a few paper hands off the side of the boat. We're going to keep moving forwards and they're going to be left behind. <laughs> Are you seeing this? I just pulled that extension out in like a millisecond. Look what the number it landed on. 77.7% <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> How many sevens have we seen on the charts today? 77.7. <laughs> you can't make it up. You're seeing it at real time. This is 77. This is the kind of stuff I was talking about with Fibonacci. 77.7%. Seven point seven percent. Here's some sevens just continuously showing up throughout the charts today. All these seventy sevens. There's something going on with that. Seventy seven point seven percent. Seventy seven point seven percent. Profits. I'm really impressed. You should definitely pat yourself on the back because everyone's yeah, that's not an easy trade to make. Profits, I'm really impressed. You had that pretty good timing and a lot of conviction to make those moves and proof of the support in our community that people weren't so much from Denlo that everyone felt a strong enough conviction to make those kind of big moves with real trades. You're not alone, Steve. <laughs> That's how a lot of people feel right now, I'm sure. That's normal when you're starting out. <laughs> It could take years to really get comfortable with your own trading style, okay? You might not, not feel silly until a couple years from now and you get a better hang of some of these technical things. But if you stick with it that long, there's so much potential. You can go as far as you want with it. You could study the charts for your whole life. Hey, bro. AMC Hot Beverage? Sounds about right, man. Thanks so much. AMC Hot Beverage. <laughs> there it is. AMC Hot Beverage. <laughs> 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 Even the robot knows what's up. We are on Denwo's pirate ship. The Denwo knots are in their hammocks, chilling on the pirate ship. Hey guys, it's Jackson Hunter. I'm back and I'm talking about the myth of hard work. This notion that working hard and keeping your head down and keep trudging along will get you to the next level in life. 
will get you advancing your level of your career, making more money, maybe becoming a CEO, um, advancing to the next socioeconomic status. Working hard is awesome, I'm all for it, but do not rely on that to single-handedly send you to the next socioeconomic level or next level in your career or field or industry. So I love you guys all and I hope everyone is doing well, man. Peace. It is well enough that people of the nation do not understand our banking and monetary system. For if they did, I believe there would be a revolution before tomorrow morning. That's from Henry Ford, okay? I just got chills right now reading it. And you know, in this age where technology and information spread so quickly, we are slowly starting to peel back layers of the mask. Layers of the mask. Layers of the mask. Okay, the mask that the financial system in North America has, okay? We're starting to see what happens behind the scenes, okay? And it's a little bit of an ugly sight. But if we're smart, we can take advantage of that. Okay, and this could be one of the biggest wealth transfers of all time. That's why I'm so excited about AMC, GameStop, and so forth. Okay, okay, okay. of all time. In conclusion, um, we are starting to unmask some of the things that go on behind the scenes in the financial market, and I believe we're gonna profit off of it, okay? And the 99% us, the working class, has waited too long, okay? We want the middle class to come back. We just want some sense of financial freedom. Everybody that I know worries about paying their rent, worries about paying for food, works three to four jobs, and that's why I'm passionate about this, because life should not be like that, okay? I believe if you work 40 hours a week, you contribute to society, you should not have to worry about paying rent and e eating food, okay? That's why I do these videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a beautiful, what day is it? Thank you so much for watching. Peace. Hey guys, it's Jackson Hunter. I'm back with another AMC stock update. First off, I wanna say that I'm not a professional. I'm just some guy on YouTube that likes to research a lot. So if you don't agree with my opinion, you don't have to watch my videos, all right? This is all speculation. Nobody knows what's gonna happen. I just believe that there's over a 90% chance AMC is gonna squeeze to the moon. Just my beliefs, okay? If you don't agree with it, you don't have to watch my content. With that being said, please hit the like button. Please smash that subscribe button. I'd love to get to 5,000 subscribers by tomorrow. We're so close and I appreciate the community we're creating so far. Everybody's been so lovely and supportive and positive. So let's get this money. Also say that GME only has a chance to squeeze and not AMC. I'm gonna prove that wrong in about 10 seconds. Now back to AMC on the 30 day four hour here. You can see if I just extend out this blue line at about nine and a quarter with my gray cursor line. This will range from about nine and a quarter up to about 950. It's also been a support in the past. Now it is a little bit sloppy, so I'm not gonna draw the line permanently. In RSI, especially the RSI, you can see again, in the last 30, 35 days, we have not liked to spend much time down here very important. Again, we talk about IV a lot. The lower that gets, the more sustainable we, we become. Now, AMC to finish up here. I'm going to also zoom in. You can see that in the last um, couple of months here, just about three months ago, the stock was under $2. We're currently sitting at over $9, nearly $10. After a very respectable time consolidating around this $10 level. Again, the people that are scoffing at the $10 level with AMC, in my opinion, need to zoom out and take a look at the chart. If this stock was so incredibly overvalued at $10 or market cap of under $5 billion, I'm telling you, we would not be spending this much time being comfortable up here. Allowing IV, again at its lowest, which was I believe yesterday, or earlier today, allowing that to come down to levels we haven't seen in months since before the stock was even over $2. Now, of course, there's been some other recent news with both of these stocks.
Hey, good people. How you doing? I'm not going to front. I'm not going to sit here and act like everything is just okie dory. But I'm going to tell you, everything is going to be fine. Now, I want to tell you guys, some of you, somebody commented that, hey, you don't understand. I'm losing a lot of money. You don't understand. Trust me. I understand. And the person that told me this, and he told me how much he was down, I said, put another zero behind that. That's how much I'm down. And he looked at me and I'm like, man, I'm not just uh, telling you guys what I'm buying and not buying it. I've been buying it and I've been buying in heavy. So I will look you in the eye and tell you I am down a lot. Everybody in the stock market, the millions of people that are in the stock market, if you're in the stock market, you're down. You're not alone. Okay. Um, Anyway, we're in a correction and uh, we're in a volatile season and it's going to be volatile. Uh, no one has a crystal ball. No one can give you a day and time when this will be over. Now, I want you, though, to think about this now. Recover. The market always rebounds, but now we're in a correction. And no. the New York Stock Exchange, as you can see here highlighted in blue, the board came together in 1817 and it, it, it pretty much started in 1863, right? This is important for you guys to notice, those of you that are new. This is nothing new. This, this stock market is over 200 years old. I want to show you guys this so you can see. Here's what the experts are saying that we should be doing now. Buy the dips as stocks experience a long overdue pullback. Strategist says, not Larry, the strategist says, right? And I know it to be true. crazy and I went to lunch I was like let me shut it down and this is gonna sound crazy you may have to just not look at your portfolio for a, a, a couple of days in and because it just gives you that anxiety right I'm looking at it and I'm going are you kidding me you, you guys I, I saw like a sea of red and it's like what can I do about it nothing how many times have I been here over the last 25 years? More than I can count. What has always happened every single time? There's been a recovery. And so it's hard to watch. It's difficult. But there's a recovery coming. And then we go into a new bull run. And there's good news coming. But if you wait. If you just be patient and wait and let the market correct, you're going to make more money. So what you can do now is one or two things. Wait it out or go shopping while it's on a discount. And so when is the day to buy? No one knows. We always say, don't 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 try to catch a falling knife. You're going to get cut. So what you need to do is go back and look at what happened in March. And once you see things are starting to recover and come back up, then you know it's safer to get in. And so you didn't catch the absolute bottom. But smart investors don't try to catch the absolute bottom and don't try to sell at the absolute top. You just limit your margin and you buy and sell here and you make money longer and you make more money more often. Okay, good people. Hey, love you guys. Hang in there. We'll see you later. Live, love, laugh, and learn. What's up, apes? Hi, lady apes, gentlemen, apes. This is Ape Andy. 
idea of cinnamon eggs. Just want to share um, the Monday price actions were pretty good, right? So while I was reading the charts, I'm not a TA guy. I'm not a technical analysis guy. I'm just sharing from my user point of view. Look at the charts yesterday. There was midday peak, midday peak, not really true peak. And then it came down. Suppose the chart were on a weekly candle basis. Then you would have thought that was the peak. And okay, I'm selling after the peak. I'm selling after the peak, okay? Ape and yeah, another smart ape says, sell on the way down. So you sell on the way down. And the whoops, it came up again. And it surpassed the previous peak. See, we don't know where the peak is when the Mithraval short freeze happens. We don't know, nobody knows. Why? Nobody has a crystal ball. Now, technical analysis, um, I would recommend Jamie of Trade Spotting. Um, even a technical analysis guy doesn't have a crystal ball, right? But then they use their own technical analysis tools, judging from past experiences, to try to tell you what is likely going to happen, okay? It is only likely. But you have to make your own decision, okay? That is why Andy, a bandy, never tells you where to sell, what the floor is. You determine that yourself, okay? Now, I can only motivate you because I motivate myself, okay? I motivate myself. Stay calm on red days and stay more calm on green days, okay? That's why green, green. I like green, okay? I like green days. You like green days, okay? So, um, things are looking good for apes of AMC and apes of GME, okay? Now, this is Ape Andy. Day job is MC. Well, I did live reports for CNN a couple of days ago, yes, on Taiwan's coronavirus situation. Okay, but my day job is MC, okay? Ape MC, Ape MC. Ape MC, Ape MC, say it fast and repeatedly becomes AMC. There you go. Take your mind off the stock market. Take your mind off the stock market and relax. Just relax, okay? Um, if you're not using your mortgage money, your rent money, your kids' tuition money, your groceries money, your gasoline money, um, relax, okay? Well, you're supposed to use the um, money that you can afford, right? So, um, relax. Now, hold on to your beloved meme stock um, because you believe it has a future and... Um, Yeah, um, there are people shorting your beloved meme stock and um, they are shorting good companies to oblivion. Um, destroying good companies with good future. That's why we support our meme stocks, right? There's no weak because you make your own individual decisions. I'm just sharing my opinion, okay? There's no weak. My, apologi my apologies. So we and um, hold on to your be beloved meme stock and um, there's a great future for you and your beloved meme stock. Love your family and spend more time with them and um, COVID is still around. Um, keep yourself safe. Keep your family members safe. Love your family and be strong apes. Okay. Um, have a good weekend. Have a great weekend and um, be strong and um, yeah. Okay. Oh, a Andy loves both AMC and GME. Okay. Hey, may I help you? A bottle of water. Wait, wait. I gotta press the buttons on the screen here. Large decaf iced coffee. Less milk. Less ice. Will that be oil? It's amazing. What should we concentrate first on? Definitely the naked shorts. The manipulation of the entire market is of oh, the entire market, specifically GameStop, and it is specifically GameStop. An AMC movie theater to start with. Because there is no way that if retail traders own 80% of them, is the 80% of the shares. 
nailed it. I can't say it better. I can't say it any better than that. What? Jason, is there any chance that Jason 0280 is there any chance that this guy is not a bot? This is, this is, looks like bad AI typing. What the heck? What timeline are we living in? Is anybody afraid today of this little bullshit dip? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Oh, this is the inevitable. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. I know my math. I know the numbers. <laughs> Monkey balls for life. Chat! <laughs> Object to the test! Good. There are basically five reasons to hodl AMC stock. Number one, apes like the stock. Number two, market corruption versus justice. Number three, the squeeze. Shorts yeah. must cover. Jack! Object to the test! Number five, it's on sale, it's a low price. Relative to other companies with similar market caps, and the argument about fundamentals is bunk because we are redefining fundamentals to include human value amid the lives of the shareholders matter. Investing is holding. Good. Long term. Feel it? No. That's extremely.